Now today saw the launch of Renew, a new political party with a guiding mission to reverse the Brexit process. Inspired by the success in France of Emmanuel Macron's En Marche movement, Renew is looking to embrace people from all walks of life rather than conventional politics. Tonight we spoke to one of Renew's co-founders. James Thomas, what does your party stand for? Well, we stand firstly to uh, to prevent the UK from leaving the European Union, but we also want to represent all of the people who are currently very poorly represented by the mainstream parties in Westminster at the moment. We think there are lots of people who recognise massive problems in our society and really want them addressed. But on the one hand, you have kind of very left-wing alternatives from parties like Labour, and you have very right-wing alternatives from parties like the Conservatives. And meanwhile, the Lib De Liberal Democrats have been discredited, um, and there are some people who support, for example, who, or rather who oppose uh, the independence of Scotland, um, who, who are not represented in Scotland and, and are not represented in the UK. Um, how can Renew have an impact on Brexit now, though? It's almost too late to the party, some would argue, and the Lib Dems have already arguably failed on that. Well, we don't think it's too late at all. We've got about 15 months until we leave, um, and there's a lot of debate. There's a lot of water still to go on the, under the bridge, and we think that we can start to change people's minds. There are a lot of people who are changing their minds already, and as people do change their minds, that's where we come in. Because with the Tories and both and both Tories and Labour supporting a hard Brexit, we think there needs to be an alternative party saying, actually, we, we propose something different. We think we should stay in the European Union and, uh, and we can fix the problems from there. But is that not a key point? You're launching, a, a, a embarking on a listen to uh, Britain um, move at the moment. And Britain quite clearly voted in the biggest vote there's ever been in the UK to leave the European Union. So you're not already taking a stance against what most people want. Well, I think they voted to solve many of the problems they see in their communities. And what we need to do is understand exactly what they are so we can start to fix them. The key thing that we believe is that leaving the European Union will not provide any solution of any kind. It will make many people's lives worse. And if that happens, then we're going to see a much more divided society, a much more angry society. And many people who need help the most will not get it. And that's what we stand to prevent. Uh, you touched on it earlier in, in Scotland. Did, did I understand you correctly? You're an, an anti-independence party. What, what do you hope to achieve in Scotland? Well, uh, personally, as, a, as an Englishman of Scottish descent, I, I believe very strongly in the union. Um, and I think it's, it's a shame that if you are uh, pro-European in Scotland, you have very few choices other than the SNP. Um, and I, I think that's bad for the people of Scotland. So, so we stand to offer that particular alternative. That said, that's my view. Um, we're, we're still crafting our position. Um, I'd be very surprised if we took a pro-independence position there. There have been many uh, party launches in recent years, and none of them have amounted to anything very much apart from possibly UKIP. Uh, what can you realistically achieve? Well, I think we can achieve quite a lot. And compared to some of the parties that have been mooted in the past, mostly on Twitter, we've made an awful lot of progress. We're, we're registered with ele the Electoral Commission. We've selected over 220 candidates so far. We've got uh, several of them in Scotland, I think eight or 10 in Scotland. They're across the whole country, um, from, from the kind of North Scotland down to the Southwest. Um, we've got supporters in Northern Ireland. We think we can really progress from there and, and build support from this base. Are you prepared to tell us who your funder is? Um, uh, the, the, the return has been submitted to the Electoral Commission. I wouldn't want to preempt them publishing that. Um, I, I, I don't want to, to disclose that at that particular at this stage. That sounds ever so slightly vague. Yeah, it, Are you it, hiding it is, something is what I'm asking? No, we're not hiding anything at all because it, it's all going to become uh, clear with the, when the Electoral Commission releases its data. Um, I wouldn't want to preempt that. James Thomas, thanks for joining us in Scotland tonight. Cheers. Thank you very much.